Hey, welcome to our Scion Tuner Challenge video. Today we're going to be installing this performance radiator. So why do we need to install high performance radiators if we're developing a high performance company? Well, we're going to be installing an HKS supercharger and that's going to add about 60 to 70 more horsepower. And uh, with that horsepower comes additional heat. So we're installing the CSF radiator. This is a really cool radiator. It has a lot of uh, mounting points, so like all the factory hardware, like the fans and shrouds, bolt right on with no fabrication or messing up around. That's great. It drops right into the stock chassis, direct bolt on. It has like these really wide fins. Um, and really wide tubes with internal conductors so that heat can get out of the coolant a lot easier than the stock radi radiator. Okay. So instead of multiple rows this way, it has just one wide one with uh, a lot of conductors. So it can j dissipate like almost twice the amount of heat as the stock radiator. Cool. And then it has uh, TIG welded end tanks. Um, the stock radiator has these plastic ones with a gasket that are crimped on okay. and that can develop leaks at high pressure. Okay. And, you know, the reason why we talk about high pressure is we're running this special radiator uh, water filler neck and a radiator cap. And this radiator cap has twice the pressure as, as the stock cap. And the reason why we do this is higher the pressure, we can reduce localized boiling inside of the engine, which helps cooling that much better. That's right. Well, what are we doing with these uh, hoses? Well, we have these hoses by uh, HPS, and these are heavy duty silicon hoses. Uh, silicon uh, has much better uh, thermal characteristics than, than rubber. It can take almost twice as much heat. They're also multiple ply. Um, the stock hose is like two ply. This is like four ply. So it can withstand pressure and all that. It also has a low permeability liner. Um, one of the drawbacks of silicone hoses is uh, even though they're tougher and higher temperature, uh, Coolant molecules can permeate through through the material easier, and you get like that coolant smell. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, with the low permeability liner, it's it's not as bad. All right. So we have heavy duty hoses, heavy duty cooling system. We're ready. Hi, uh, we're here to uh, do the unboxing of the HKS, FRS, and BRZ Supercharger. Uh, this is a uh, second gen kit that uh, has never been brought to the United States and actually probably never will. This is a Japan market only part because uh, for the US market, HKS is going straight to the third gen, which will be released pretty soon. Uh, the first thing I see here is the uh, intercooler. As you can see, it's a uh, tube and thin type intercooler with nice end tanks. Looks like it has some cast in bosses uh, for a really secure mounting. Now the HKS supercharger is a uh, centrifugal unit. The compressor section is very much like a turbocharger. And one of the things about a centrifugal supercharger is it has a really high efficiency compared to a lobe type like a, like a roots blower. The unique thing about the uh, HKS blower is the uh, the transmission isn't directly coupled to the, um, the uh, compressor wheel. Like I'm holding the compressor, but you can see I can move it independently of the uh, pulley. So we have some uh, lines, uh, an oil cooler, a surge tank, and some of the uh, HKS uh, traction oil. Obviously this keeps the supercharger from getting too hot. Like at part throttle, there's a lot of slippage going on. With slippage, you got heat. The charge pipes are typical HKS, really nice quality, nice castings. One of the nice things about castings is you can have uh, smooth, continuous radius bends without all the internal um, steps and all that that can cause turbulence. Here's the supercharger bracket. Uh, one of the reasons why uh, accessory brackets are often made out of cast iron is because it's kind of a non-resonant material and it damps out vibration, so that helps for noise. So HKS kits by nature are always very complete. They always have every little nut, bolt, bracket and screw you could possibly need to install. For your charge pipe hose, it's a good high quality 
multi-ply silicone part. Uh, it looks like four ply, so it should hold boost pressure really easily. Uh, you have your supercharger to charge pipe gaskets, and you have the compressor bypass valve. Uh, the compressor bypass valve uh, basically uh, bypasses the supercharger at hard throttle cruise when you're going down the freeway. Uh, even though your supercharger is spinning pretty good, the uh, bypass valve will completely bypass all the air. So your traction drive is decoupling the supercharger. Your bypass valve is also bypassing the compressor, so you have very little drag under cruise. This one's actually a manual bent piece. It's a pretty nice piece considering it's aluminum. It's heavier gauge than typical, but good mandrel bend and it doesn't have very many neck downs. It's another nice mandrel bent piece with a nice bead rolling. Also heavy gauge for a mandrel bend. And finally, we have a bunch of silicone couplers here. Uh, like the charge pipe, uh, these things are four ply, heavy duty, high temperature couplers. The HKS kit isn't intended to be the world's fastest bolt on engine mod for the FRS BRZ, but what it's intended to be is like a highly refined, uh, really daily drivable kit that gives a good, nice power gain. They'll have nice, smooth, predictable power. Um, the kit is, fits really well, has high quality hardware. It's going to be easy to install. Everything will fit, typical HKS quality, and the installation will be a piece of cake.
Thank you. 